ang karunungan ay kapangyarihan. And it's time once again to put that power to the test here on K-Check! Hello everyone, I'm Jules Gia. Ako naman po si Attorney Gabby Concepcion and this is Season 3 of K-Check. Dito sinisiguro naming may challenge para sa bawat contestant at viewer at laging may bagong natututunan habang pinagdadaanan ang mga challenges. Stick with us until the final week of this exciting competition to find out who our next K-Check champion will be. Apat na contestants ang dadaan sa ating karunungan check sa araw na ito. Firstly, we have Elijah. Elijah is an incoming fourth-year dentistry student of Centro Escolar University. He loves traveling and discovering different cultures while having a taste of different cuisines. He also plays volleyball as his main sport and casually plays video games during his free time. Next, we have Jelly. Jelly is a geography student of UP Diliman. She loves reading transformative works during her free time. Next, we have Keith. Keith is an architecture student of Technological Institute of the Philippines. His hobbies are watching movies, cycling, and playing online games. And finally, we have Aika. Aika is a theater student from UP Diliman. She has a sweet dog named Bo, who is one of the emotional support animals of the campus. Her hobbies are reading novels, watching films, and playing piano and ukulele. Apart from theater, she is interested in history and philosophy. So these four will be competing under the watchful eyes of today's K-Check panel of experts. Siyempre, nandito ang UP Diliman Department of Art Studies Chair, Assistant Professor Sofia Guillermo. Nandito din si Assistant Professor Marla Endriga of the Department of Biology, UP Manila. And Professor Luisa De Leon Bolinao, former Chair of the Department of History, UP Diliman. At ngayon, contestants, it's time for our first round. Correct answers are 10 points each. Get ready to buzz in and collect those points. Let's begin! This is round one, and this is question number one, contestants. What planet is named after the Roman god of war? Elijah. Venus. Venus is incorrect. Keith. Jupiter. Jupiter is also incorrect. Jelly. Mars. Mars is the correct answer. K check. Question number two. In music, a plectrum is used in plucking what common six string instrument? I'm sorry, but I think you're a bit too late, Keith. In any case, the correct answer is a guitar. Question number three, in dancing, how many couples normally participate in a square dance? Aika. Two. Two is incorrect. Elijah. Four. Four is the correct answer. K check. Question number four, how many stars does a full general have in the Philippine Army? Jelly. Three. Three is incorrect. Elijah. Four stars. Four stars is correct. K-check. Question number five. What is the title of the sequel to the 2019 movie, Hello, Love, Goodbye? Aika. Hello, Love, Again. Hello, Love, Again is the correct answer. K-check. Question number six. What term is given to a one-spot face card or a fighter pilot who has accumulated five kills. The correct answer is ace. Question number seven. Wrinkles called crow's feet may be found beside what part of the body? Jelly. Eyes. Beside the eyes is the correct answer. K check. Question number eight. In computers, what do you call the printed circuit board and foundation of a computer that is the biggest board in a computer chassis? 
Elijah. Motherboard. Motherboard is the correct answer. Okay, check. Question number nine. In what ocean can you find the island countries like Sri Lanka, the Maldives, and Madagascar? Indian Ocean. Toy Story. Toy Story was the 1995 film where Woody and Buzz Lightyear fought but became friends in the end. The answer is correct. Okay, check. Question number 11 in mental math. This time, what number is 3 fourths of 28? Jelly. 20, 21. 21 is the correct answer. Okay, check. Question number 12 in the last question for this round. In what province in Bicol is the Magayon Festival celebrated, centered in Legazpi City, for the whole month of May each year? Aita. Albay. Albay is the correct answer. k -check. And that's it for the first round. Maraming salamat, Atty. Gabi, for that round. Let's do a scores recap. Elijah is in the lead with 40 points, followed by Jelly with 30 points, Aika with 20 points, and Keith with 10 points. So, nandito na tayo sa segment na favorite natin, attorney, kung saan mas kinikilala natin. Ang bawat contestants, ito ang... Kay Chica! Simulan natin si Elijah. So, Elijah, what is your favorite travel destination and the country and culture you find most interesting at bakit? Uh, so far po, sa mga napuntahan ko, it's Thailand. Kasi, actually, ito na rin po yung pinaka-recent ko na na-travelan. And it's about... Traveling in Thailand is about... Uh, trying out food po. So, I, I enjoy food trip po kasi. Kaya, I think it's the most interesting po. Did you try out that Michelin starred food, street food vendor? Uh, no. Uh, nung pumunta po kami doon, sobrang daming tao po oh, kasi. Mga so, tatlong oras yeah. daw. Sobrang ba yan? Pumunta kayo? Uh, di ko po. Hindi naman. <laughs> Sarap ng pad thai din. Nagpunta ka na ba? That's so crazy sa popular... Mas masarap ang pad thai sa kalsada kaysa sa restaurant. For oh, that's yeah. true. That's true. Pero the Sokran is a festival, it's ba? It's a Sokran. It's a... Ah, yeah. It's a festival. Every April. Ayan. Mukhang alam na alam mo. <laughs> Maraming salamat, Elijah. Now, tanungin naman natin si Jelly. At kanina ko pa talaga gustong tanungin ito. Ano ba ang ibig sabihin ng transformative works? Uh, usually po kasi yung umbrella term ng transformative works is more commonly known as like fan works, so fan fiction, fan art, that type of um, media. So I really like how a lot of people relate to a certain kind of story and then they try to reimagine it based on their own lenses and their own experience. And a lot of the times, the way they write things or the way they portray things makes me learn a little bit more about the world at large and not just like the source work material, but also the people involved in the stories that are affect that are published. So ano naman yung ibang mga popular title or favorite title mo dito sa mga transformative work na to? Um, a lot of the times po kasi yung in terms of transformative work, siguro I really love yung mga animes na ginagawa nila ng mga stories sa uh, yun nga, fan fiction. So they make a lot of stories, they reimagine these characters in different settings. For example, um, my favorite my favorite anime is Haikyuu and I, a lot of the times I read um, fan fiction wherein they reimagine the volleyball characters as either um, chefs or uh, working working adults and I learn it's not it's interesting to me because a lot of the times authors tend to insert themselves in ways you don't really uh, you don't really notice because they're under the lens of like different characters but you pick up a lot of things like oh that might be how working conditions go like in these specific scenarios and it lets me kind of imagine myself in particular la. Uh, if I were put in this scenario, how would I respond? Yeah, I guess siya na yung winner ng Kay Chica. <laughs> <laughs> diba kaya gustong gusto ko itong oo nga eh. <laughs> Very passionate. Yes. Oh. And that's why I like Kay Chica, diba? You learn so many things, not just about the contestants, but about what new do? things as well. Diba? Yes, thank you so much Elijah and Jelly. Mamaya makakausap naman natin si Naki at Aika, pero... Sabi ni Keith at saka ni Aika, parang <laughs> napapressure. <laughs> okay, ready na muna tayo for round two. Susunod na yan sa pagbabalik ng... K-Chen.
At tuloy pa rin ang ating karunungan check. At this point, we have Elijah in the lead with 40 points, Jelly with 30, Aika with 20, and Keith with 10 points. Yes, so simulan na natin ang second part ng... Okay, Chica. Chica. Si Keith naman ang ating chikahin. So Keith, what was the last movie you saw and how did this affect you? Siguro yung ano pa, The Upside po. Is that on Netflix? Yes po. Yes, it's on Netflix. So ba't siya naka-apekto sa'yo? Siguro ano, na mahalam po ako sa, ano, sa main character kasi from being a uh, criminal, ganun. Bigla siyang ano, para may nag-hit sa kanya sa life niya para magbago. Para bumalik sa pagiging mabuti. Transformative. Transformative. <laughs> may redeeming values. Yes. Mm. Maraming salamat, Keith. Ngayon naman, Aika, bukod kay Bo, meron pa bang ibang emotional support animals on campus? Yes, definitely. Um, actually, six dogs po sila and then Bo is one of them. Tapos mga um, stray animals sila dito sa campus and then there's this issue kasi na kinukuha sila, um, dadalhin sa pound and it's either papatayin sila dun. So yun, nagkaroon ng ganong initiative na i-rescue sila and then ngayon um, they serve as, um, nagbibigay sila ng support sa students natin and uh, they help the students to de-stress. Lalo na ngayon na lagi namang help sa UP. So they're very helpful to everyone. So do you bring Bo to, to the different colleges on campus? Yeah, kapag uh, invited po um, and then available naman yung mga dog handlers, we definitely go. Ang cute, ini-invite yung mga dogs. Oo nga. Ba't malang ganyan nung panahon na? <laughs> Recent lang kasi talaga yung Nung panahon emotional. ko, actually, I think wala pang concept ng Mental. emotional support yes. animal. So, maswerte yung mga sudyante ngayon na nandyan sila Bo at yung ibang mga emotional support dogs. Okay, maraming salamat sa ating contestants. And now, it's back to work. And it's time for round two. So, contestants, get ready to buzz in. But this time, make sure to strategize kasi dito, correct answers are worth 20 points each, but you lose 10 points if you answer incorrectly. Let's, Let's begin. begin! This is round two. Question number one. What do the letters HT in the internet abbreviation HTML stand for? Elijah. Hypertext. Hypertext is correct. Okay, check. Question number two. What is the name of the Dutch dancer who became a spy for Germany during World War I? The correct answer is Matahari. Question number three. In 1989, a glass and metal pyramid was added to which museum in Paris, France? Jelly. Sorry, I don't know how to say it. The, the Louvre. Yes, uh, the Louvre or the Louvre Museum is correct. Okay, check. Question number four. Arrivederci is a form of goodbye in what language? Jelly. Italian. Italian is correct. Okay, check. Question number five. On August 13, 1961, a wall began to be built to divide what European capital city? Elijah. Berlin. Berlin is correct. Okay, check. Question number six. In algebra, what do you call a constant that a variable or expression is multiplied by? Just like eight in the term eight. X. Jelly. Coefficient. Coefficient is correct. Okay, check. Question number seven. Which British children's TV series?